I know it's your story, it's me, I feel good. Welcome back to Welcome. Daytime Live. No, we are still buzzing and I'm handing the baton to Anisha Yen. Hold that. <laughs> okay, so caring, guys, caring for elderly family members during COVID-19 outbreak <sighs> is proving a challenge as it demands constant reminders to wash your hands and to, phys to and physically assist at a time when social distancing is being touted. Now, the elderly fall into the high-risk group for persons most likely to have an adverse outcome if they contract the virus. Now, four out of seven persons who have, who have died from the virus on our local shores were actually over the age of 50. Now, two were between 40 and is that 49? Mm -hmm. Okay, and one was under nine years old. 73-year-old uh, Spanish town St. Catherine resident Inez Morton told the Gleaner that she is hell scared of contracted COVID-19 and have been doing all she can to stay clean. Now Morton, who lives with her 24-year-old granddaughter, said she needs no reminder to wash her hands. Um, Duffy, yeah. what do you think about the suggestion that, you know, caring for the elderly is a little challenging? What do you think about persons who are, you know, going through this type of thing? Uh, we, it, it's true, it's a fact. Because mm -hmm. with social distancing, it's not that they can do stuff for themselves. So caring for them, it's hands-on. You literally have to be there, you have to lift up and stuff like that. So you, as the caregiver, you have to ensure that you protect yourself and protect them because they are more vulnerable. So you ensure that you're sanitized, you wash your hands, you wear your mask, mm -hmm. you, if you can, if you can raise your, mm -hmm. wear, wear gloves where, where possible, if you can. Mm -hmm. So you, you change your clothing, mm -hmm. same clothing you go on maybe outside with. Or but you know, old people are stubborn process. though. So they're yes, like, mommy are... or grandma, like, don't do that. And they're like, me not care what you say, me I go out the road, you can't tell me nothing. Me I go about my business every Sunday, me go to church. And me I still go to church, me not care what you say. Yeah, you, you, you have it. Thank you, thank like you, thank you, like thank you. you. Like Actor I, Boy Award winning lead actress like right I, here. I, I, I saw I, I saw this this girl dealing with her grandmother mm -hmm. and she was just being stubborn and she was just like, it's so hard. <laughs> and she said, yes, man, me know to say goodbye. <laughs> all right, now I'm going to be myself. <laughs> like, all right. You have to know because yeah. it's sometimes not them being stubborn, it's their independence. You know, yeah. and, and it's slipping away from them. So yeah, it's hard. Just, yeah, yeah. The it's once patience. a man, twice a child thing. But some of them fiesty, man. Yeah. Some of them sassy. Well, let me tell you something. My mom, she's going through a lot. She has Alzheimer's, and I, but, but let me tell you something. Nobody knows sassy like my mother. Now, when she ready for take you on, you like, mommy, I'm just to ask you for go. Me know you, mommy. It's, oh, mommy, no, I understand. Mommy, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm like, oh, kidding. Oh, so it's hallelujah. not totally your fault then? Yeah, it's not my fault. It's mommy I get it from. <laughs> it's, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, yeah. it's mommy. But yeah, I but you. I mean, but caring for the elderly, I mean, and, and it has to be across the board, not just our family members, but it can be neighbors and, you know, an entire Jamaican community. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Jamaican community, wow, I did it. <laughs> I went across there. <laughs> the, the lady that came on TVJ a couple of nights ago. Yeah. And, I mean, yeah. everybody the was. The helper the that has right. eight children. Crystal, I think her name is. If I knew. Yeah. And the outpouring of love and affection, and us. There's a video I saw that I laughed. I, mm -hmm. I admit that I laughed. Because oh, no. two guys that had, that had a fridge, the wheel on a fridge, uh -huh. and the door wasn't big enough for the fridge to go through. So I was like, oh my God, they have to cut, oh. a, cut a bigger hole for the fridge in to go through. In times like this, though, I want to just salute my Jamaican. No, but people. seriously, but, oh, oh, I'm, up no, I'm, I'm bringing this up because a lot of persons helped her. Mm -hmm. But I also want to point out that there are other persons out there who needs our help mm -hmm. in this time. And sometimes it's not, mm -hmm. it's not mm -hmm. a, a, a trolley full of groceries, it's maybe mm -hmm. $500. Yeah. It's yeah. maybe running an errand for them. Yeah. And there are persons around us all the that time. So the persons who help yeah. Crystal, yeah. big up on herself, but yeah. you have persons out there who actually need it. But I want to also say, and I know this is going to sound a certain way, but I'm going to say it anyway, allow me, okay? There are people who have said um, they don't want their cleaners or their helpers to come anymore into their homes yeah. because of COVID-19, you right, know? Right. I understand it, but then if you were their primary source of income, what they're yeah. supposed to do? 
You know what I mean? So I I still pay my my clean. Because. She still clean for me. You see, <laughs> I still pay. My, my it's not need, whatever my, I got. My, we share. Yeah, my 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 place. Sharing need, thing. My place needs to be clean still. So I mean, hey, big up yourself.